West Village is also where the New York City grid system goes rogue. The area used to be the ideal location for summer houses of New York's wealthy elite who resided all the way downtown. The site of the famous one if by land, two if by sea was Aaron Burr's former stable as he lived down the road at 127 and 129 McDougal Street, built in 1829. But when you find yourself at the corner of West 4th and West 10th Street, then you know an amazing meal is just a moment away. If the restaurant's name seems familiar, that's because the original Fedora's in the same space was a staple in the West Village for decades. But in 2010, it reopened under new ownership. Not much has changed, except for the menu. And in the kitchen is where we have the team to thank for that. So what's on deck? How about grilled octopus? For this dish, we serve a little romesco, which is basically a piquillo peppers that are cooked with lots of olive oil, some bread, some almonds, some pimenton. Very Spanish. Sounds very beautiful. It's very smoky. It's really delicious. On it goes. Put a generous amount on the plate. A little bit of yogurt that's seasoned with some salt and some lemon juice. Raw fennel with some fresh mint. A little olive oil and some pepper. Food pouring shot before I make it less pretty. Grilled octopus with romesco. You need to tell me how to make that. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Next up, their culinary riff on the classic egg in a hole. This is a honeycomb tripe. We just boil it till it gets pretty tender. This takes a couple hours to cook. The next step would be making our pimenton, garlicky, Yum. smoked paprika, tomato sauce. Then we slice the tripe pretty thin. We add it into this tomato sauce and we cook it till it becomes even more tender. Then the egg goes in the hole, gets covered with cheddar, and is placed in the salamander. Our beautiful tripe. Oh my god, the smells. Mmm, yeah. Ah, oh, the smoked paprika. It's very unique. Yes. It's my favorite dish on the menu. It's soul satisfying and, well, most importantly, it's freaking delicious. There you go. So, we didn't even have to bleep that. All right, I'm going in, and, and do I do this, and does Yo, that happen? Geez. Oh, oh, it happens. That's naughty. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. That'll get you some action. <laughs> Glenn, you can get over here. All right, I'm going to give her a big bite, because the fatter she gets, the thinner I look. All right. Oh, oh boy. Glenny. <laughs> it's like sex on a fork. Here, come back here. And I'm not even aiming. Where are you? Ah! <laughs> and the last plate. They're off the hook take on fried chicken, which is first confit, then breaded in egg and panko crumbs, served foot and all. So a little bit of hot sauce, then a little bit of rice to absorb all the goodness. So we put yes. some crushed potato chips sure you on the rice. Then we go ahead with the sauce first. It's reduced chicken stock with lots of ginger, some oh. shallots, and some soy sauce, along with some maple syrup. The chicken goes down, just like that. This is a rich dish, so we want more acidity, so yeah. we're gonna put some cucumber pickles, mix with some cilantro, a few greens to wash the mouth up between every bite. Dripping with sauce. Yeah, mm. I love this guy. Oh my God! The sauce! You have to eat the whole thing now. <laughs> Including the foot. <laughs> You're not gonna dare me to eat the foot, are you? Yes, everything. It's not my first chicken, but... Even the foot's good.